Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to TradeStation. Uh, my name is Michael Burke, and I head up client training here at TradeStation, and I want to welcome you to another edition of our Trading App Store Showcase. And today, uh, we're going to be looking at a product called Retinum Scan with Juan Villegas, and uh, he will uh, we'll get to Juan in just one moment. Please keep in mind that the following presentation is for educational purposes only. All of the symbols and trading ideas discussed in this presentation are for educational purposes and are not recommendations. Active trading is not suitable for everybody. Please take a look at the disclosure document that I've just put in, into the chat. And you can view additional disclosure information from the TradeStation website. So Juan, uh, I'm going to turn it over to you. Um, it's your presentation. Thank you, Michael. Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I want to start this uh, presentation with one simple question. Please um, let me know what instruments, what instruments do you guys trade on a daily basis, weekly basis? If you can comment on that. Also on the chat window, it'll be great to know what you trade. Uh, let's see, 68% uh, of you, 70% of you trade stocks. Forex, 29, futures, 64, options, 41. So we have uh, futures and stock majority here in the house, then Forex, and finally options. Thank you, everyone, for um, letting me know that. <clears throat> and now, um, Let's start with uh, Redditum Scan, uh, telling you guys a little bit of, about uh, our story. And uh, then we're going to take a look at the market profile as the theory behind um, what you guys are going to see today. On the third, third uh, item for today, it'll be our method, how we find opportunities. It's going to be very easy and very understandable. We will work, of course, with a lot of charts. And then we're going to give you some free stuff. So stay with us until the end of this presentation, because we're going to give you some free stuff that's going to help you um, become a better trader, a more consistent trader, and uh, make this happen on a daily basis, weekly basis, in your habitual time frame. So about, about our story, uh, here's, we've been trading for actively for the past 10 years, wrote a book about this in Espanol, in Spanish. I'm in Colombia, in Medellin, by the way, South America. This is where this broadcast is happening, Medellin, Colombia. So we started trading actively on TradeStation uh, 10 years ago, wrote this book, it's an Amazon best seller in Espanol. It's not in English right now, but we're going to get there. It's called Ingresario. So we, we created this book um, as part of an experience of uh, daily watching the market and creating a method. You're just going to watch, you're going to see this happening in a couple of minutes. Uh, by doing these daily videos of market analysis, we start mix and match and, and improving some strategies and stuff. And then we came up with this powerful thing that you're going to see. And now, uh, next year is going to be a, our 10th year of daily videos for our community, for our followers. So we've been around for a while. And uh, what you're going to see today is the product of this 10 years of continuous improvement, 10 years of Kaizen, mejoramiento continuo, continuo continuous improvement. It's one of the uh, core values of our company is to stay on top of your game. You need to improve your game. 1%, 2% a week, it's not that much. It's not going to be that hard, OK? That's a story. Now let's go down to business. Why you need another scanner? So, OK, another scanner, chat with this uh, guy. And uh, why you need another scanner? Well, here's where the market, here's how the market looks today. This is a typical trade station bar chart, candlestick. And, and, and nothing else. 
And this is what is going to happen once you have our technology with you. I'm going to explain every single part of what you see on the right chart. But the difference between these two worlds, the world of candlesticks, regular time frames, plus the ready to scanner, our very smart system is, you know, like watching day and night. You're going to see with the market with new goggles. Now, let's have a bit of a technical background here. And, and please, please follow me, my little girls. And I really mean this. They're seven and nine, and they have the sign, the whole thing. I'm serious. My little girls, they know this thing. So it's part of our process that they should understand. You're not seeing anything on the screen. Can you see it now, Walter? Do you guys see the screen? No? Um, question for everyone in the room. Can you guys see the screen? Can you hear me? You can? Yes. OK, Walter, you, you might need to, re to uh, reboot the, the room again. And then you have uh, access to, to this information now. Exactly. Thank you, Michael. So, so what I mean by my little girls were the ones who designed this, the whole thing is that we start thinking like kid, kids. How will they understand the whole thing? How will, how will they know how to trade? And you'll see that color is a very important part of our equation. Now, everything that you're going to see right now is inspired by a methodology developed in the 80s and in, in, in Chicago called Market Profile. Have you guys, uh, this is the first time you hear this word or phrase, or is there anybody in the room who's working with market profile right now? Let me know. Okay, so market profile was designed by Peter Stettelmeyer, 80s, floor trader, and he started uh, looking at the market from a statistical perspective. Here's the thing. Sorry, the, uh, this, this chart is, is in English. Probably the next one is going to be in Spanish. I, I apologize for that. But the whole concept is pretty simple and straightforward. And it means that price and volume and its frequency of occurrence, price and volume and its frequency of, let me get this. Now, let me see if I can grab the laser. Perfect. The frequency of occurrence of price will create a higher volume area, which is this one here, a lower volume area of the occurrence of a certain price. That's the number one concept for market profile. And then what we'll do is that we uh, map that price occurrence, that frequency of price occurrence like this, we just turn this on, on its axis. That's the basic concept of market profile. It's the frequency of occurrence of price. Now, this is your average bar chart in this. Uh, right now, we, we just work. I like to work with case bars. Not only time frame bars, not only uh, the 15 minute, the 20 minute, the 60, the hourly. We also like to trade with the range bars. And the reason why is, and I'm going to tell you is, uh, just a quick story. I didn't mention this before. We've been working with these algorithms on the Bloomberg terminal for several years right now. And we're one of the uh, four groups that has a global partnership with Bloomberg. We write articles for Bloomberg. We develop algorithms for Bloomberg, and now we're bringing that technology to the retail world, to trade station. So in one of those seminars, I met Cynthia Case. Cynthia Case is the founder of Case Company, which is a company uh, devoted to develop algorithms and technology for uh, the, the markets. Cynthia is a very 
professional individual. And uh, she developed this methodology of looking at price based on range. So these are range bars, case bars. And it's reading one of the best, I guess one of the most technical instruments in the financial world as, from my perspective and my team, which is um, oil, crude oil on futures, trading crude oil futures. This is the regular crude oil futures on case bars with uh, a, two, a 20 moving average and a 200 moving average. Now, let's add our profiles. This is the frequency of price occurring in this. Let me get the laser again. Let's see if I can pick it up. It's not working for some reason. Oh, here it is. So here's the laser pointing at this yellow line. Remember the distribution, the frequency of occurrence of price. So with the market map, which is the first tool that we're going to see today, you can understand where is the price trading the most. And it's this red area. 68% of the time, the price will be trading in this area. 68% of the time. Now, the beauty of this is that with the market map, you can illuminate the low volume areas. The low volume areas. This blue area is a low volume area, meaning that the frequency of price occurring at this level, for instance, at uh, 48, was very low. It actually was the lowest in this rally. This was the lowest occurrence and it's totally obvious by the color that we see. So then, going back to my girls, and I tell them, OK, girls, let's look at these mountains. Let's look at these little mountains and little valleys. Mountains and valleys. So the way you're going to make money in the market is when you find a valley, find a valley. Market profiles, this first tool, which is, is going to be a special gift after we finish this presentation, you can access this tool for free, for free, in the App Store. I'm going to give you the link to do that after we finish this, uh, this broadcast, this presentation. So stay tuned because you're going to get access to this tool, which is awesome. No price. You, you don't need to pay nada, zero, ni un peso. First, this is the first tool. So let's continue with the story. We started with the average case bars, 20 moving average, 200 moving average, and now the market map. The mar market map will help us find those valleys. That important area where you will see the vertical move happen. Next tool. Wow, what is that? 120, 30. 60? What is the meaning of this? Oh, I told you that I looked at the market in two dimensions. The time dimension, which, is, which means the 30 minute, the 60 minute, the two hour, the daily, the weekly, the monthly. Those levels I should always consider. But now, here's, the, here's, the, here's, the, here's where the magic happens in market profiling in this chart. What you are seeing here, for instance, this yellow line is the most repeated price during this observation, this frame. Of, uh, I mean, since this, since this bar up till this bar, the price that occurred the most was this one here. Okay. That is called, in market profile theory, the point of control, or the value area, or the VWAP. You, so we got that right. OK, so in this case bar 12 cents, the case bar 12 cents, this is the point of control. This is the point of control, and this one. Now, where is the point of control in 30 minutes? Here it's 47.76. Where is the point of control 
in 60 minutes. This is the point of control 60, the 120. Why is that important? Well, as we look forward into this presentation, one of my favorite strategies is to buy cluster of levels into valleys. Cluster of levels, these two levels. And why this is very important? Because the 60-minute trader, the 30-minute, the two-hour trader, the daily, the weekly, I can spot where are they located. Where's the value area of all those time frames? Stay with me. We're going to see a lot of examples based on this. Now, next tool, color-coded bars. What is the meaning of, of this and why they are so important to us. Well, as I told you before, color was very important for my little girls to learn how to trade the markets. With this color coded tool, I can know who's controlling the auction process, who's in control of price, buyers or sellers, and with levels I can spot if the market is going to go vertical, it's going to stay sideways lateral. Every time it finds a high volume area, the market should stay sideways until it breaks into that area. And then it creates another high volume area and price will go away from the volume area and into the volume area. Here's, here's a, a very interesting thing about market profile. Market profile or markets in general like to be balanced. Balanced. 68% of the time markets will be balanced. But when they're not balanced, they went ballistic, unbalanced. Or another way to put it is markets are either horizontal and slow or vertical and fast. Horizontal and slow, vertical and fast. So every time you see the green bars, I mean the gray bars and the white bars stay put once the market breaks into or trades above the high volume area, those bars change its color. And now it's showing another long setup. So a lot of things are happening in this chart. I know it's a, it's a handful of, da of data and information right now for you guys, but once you start watching this on a daily basis or a weekly basis and I know you time from you watch the market but let's I imagine that you guys watch this on a daily basis I'm gonna I'm gonna press that I'll answer your question in a second uh, and start watching our videos because we're producing videos on a you know constant basis you're gonna understand the whole thing the whole thing is gonna make a lot of sense can we make it full screen? Uh, I guess you're, you're, you have problems watching this. Maybe you're watching on a cell phone. Yes, I'm sorry if, if it's not very clear on cell phones, but try to watch this on a big screen. It's going to make a lot of sense. Okay? Now, Let's look at this chart. Left upper corner. Let me see. OK. It's too small. Can you guys see? Let me, uh, how can we? I know what we can do. Probably. Let me see if we can go. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, stay, stay with me a second and then we'll project some of uh, the action that happened today on the market and you're going to understand the whole thing. Now, here on the right is Tesla with uh, regular candlesticks. On the left, 
You see Tesla with the market map. You remember the yellow line and the other yellow line? Okay, here's Tesla with on the daily, weekly point of control, daily point of control, and monthly point of control. This is what we look at, valleys. Valleys are connected by two yellow lines. Every time you find those two yellow lines, and let me go back to this. These two yellow lines with a market map, that, and it's free right now. I mean, you can have the market map right now for free on, on, on the App Store. Once you see two yellow lines connected on the same profile, that's your valley. And you're going to start looking for valleys. Price will go hard, will go slow on high volume areas and go in fast when it moves away from, from those uh, value areas. That's a very cool concept. It works very nice. And uh, this technology gives you the opportunity to find those values. That's very important. Now, here's Amazon on the right and Amazon on the left using the scanner. This has set up several long signals based just on color. Another example, and I'm going to move to the market right now. Here's the monthly chart. And after this chart, we'll go to see some live action that happened today. And you're going to understand this whole concept very, very, you know, it's so simple to grasp. So here on the left, you have the uh, NASDAQ future, the e mini future for NASDAQ on the monthly chart. With the scanner, with ready to scan over there, and we already have some red bars. Of course, this is not today's picture. We're going to see this chart again in the coming, in the next minutes. If this happened, if what is what the scanner is saying right now, right here, tells you about the potential story that is about to develop, I have to say we might see some short selling happening, probably visiting 4,000 again, or lower. Okay, that's the first message that I see. But I'm going to move to, let me project my screen here, which is a trade station, um, of course. And uh, so we can take a look at what happened in the market today and how these tools, um, having a problem here, hold on, stay with me, maybe not the screen share. Let me just close. I know, I know, no, Webinato or Novia. Uh, and it's, it's a little bit tricky sometimes when you want to project, but I'll be there in a second. I hope so. If I don't, we'll continue with the power, PowerPoint and then. Okay, hold on, hold on. I mean, here. Uh, I know what's going on. Two minutes. I'll be there. Uh, should get. I should get there. In. The problem with uh, this tool sometimes is has some. Okay, I have it now. Monitor three. I'm there, Michael. Okay, guys, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. Tools 
now you can see a big, big screen now. Is that perfect? Okay, here are the tools. This is the average 20 moving average is white, 200 moving average is magenta. This is live information from Trade Station. Case bars, 12 cents WTI. Now, the scanner went short in this area. Let me see if I can put some tools here. RO, ellipse here. We had a long short signal here. Can you see it? And then one of the best signals probably in the afternoon, even though it started right here. And then this signal here is very important. And some a very, very interesting what happened here in, in 49.28 and 49.24. You see that cluster of levels. This is the 60 minute POC point of control. And the 30 minute point of control and the market went from the 120 when the 120 POC, look what it found its floor. That's why we were just pointing out that this is a support and resistant tool. It'll find your targets. It'll find your entries. And the market will always move between those POCs, the 120, the 30. Now, that's the case bar. Let's look at the 60 minute. What happened there? This is the whole 60 minute picture today. Of course, uh, Today's Wednesday. We have inventories today. I don't care, and, and and I won't say with all respect, but I don't pay attention. It's just probably the right word. I don't pay attention to the levels of the inventories. I they, I, I just right. I, I just read the price action. And here's the th one of the one of the ways or one of the things why I like to trade with. Uh, a time chart, a range chart. Because with range bars, we have a lot of, I mean, we take away all the noise and all the setups. Get more readability, if you know what I mean. It's easier to read the setups and the part and, and the patterns once you have case bars. You can also work with uh, Renko, but I prefer to use case level. And you see where, where this price happened. The yellow line, which is the POC of this distribution, the frequency, the market map, the market profile. The magic with the market profile is that it measures the frequency of occurrence of price. So you can exactly pinpoint where institutional investors are just pounding the market, selling the market, buying again. Let's take this out. You see the difference? No map. Can you see where the values are? No. Without the map, you cannot see where the values are. But once you activate the maps, you can see those, those areas, those areas where the market will go vertical. So the scanner has a lot of information for you. It's giving you the 120. POC is giving you the 60, the 30. You see another tools right here. Well, those are activate those because you might not need. And down here, we have the navigator and the I ratio. Those are another task market profile tools. But we're just focusing our efforts on this, just this, the market map and the Redditing scan.
you can use all these tools, of, of course, but uh, I mean, you can use basically on RSI or, or the navigator is pretty cool, but this is an, another set of tools. Let's focus on this. Still going up. A little bit extended for, for my taste for new lungs, but this signal was trigger and then this signal is the best one this uh, past afternoon based on one of our strategies which call which is called by cluster or by level cell cluster by cluster and this is one is going let's see now on um, the 30 minute it's just it's just too extended now we need a retracement and buy again i we have a 60 dollar target for Charlie Lima, which is U.S. oil, $60 target. Now, S&Ps. How many of you guys trade the S&Ps? Many people love this instrument. I, I, I like it a lot. I'm, I like S&Ps, NASDAQ, Dow. And uh, I really love to trade oil. I think it's one of, the, one of those uh, Watch our videos. We bring a lot of videos in English. We've been doing videos in Spanish for 10 years, but now we're moving to give you guys, on, uh, think, thanks to Trade Station, a lot of information and uh, which was in the past institutional level technology. I mean, we have come a long way bringing these tools to Trade Station. This was almost prohibited. I mean, we're talking big, big prices to pay for this. But now, thanks to uh, this growing market, this growing retail market, we can just offer this at, at a very, very affordable price. Now, here's the uh, what happened to uh, the S&Ps. I want you to pay attention to the 2046 level. In that level, we had a cluster, the 240-minute POC and the 120-minute POC. Here we have the weekly, the daily, the 60, and the 30. Right now, my bias will be probably to have a correction into 79, have a correction to 79, because we, we've been rallying so so hard and take a look at this navigator which is another tool we might talk in another webinar is now pointing out you can use MACD or RSI to use I mean to to read how uh, price action is behaving but the story here right now is that we have two yellow lines and this two yellow lines might suggest uh, coming correction into fair value of the hourly and 30-minute chart. Fair value. Markets love fair value. And when they go away from fair value, it's 30% of the time. They are in fair value, which is basically this high volume area, this high volumes area on the, map, on the maps. They, they are in fair value 60, 70% of the time. So we might see some correction in the coming days on this. And now I want you to pay attention to I'm going to analyze on the daily chart may all the major markets. So you have uh, more more information. Okay. It's daily charts of diamonds. Dow Jones ETF. As you can see, we're trading above the monthly POC, the weekly POC, the daily POC, and the yellow line. So 
with our buys, buy retracements. We think we're going to visit it's just straight, straight above the daily, weekly, and monthly. So we have potential to go again and visit the prior, the prior pivot. This and maybe have new highs. If we go to the, let me show you the weekly at one second here. You know why I think we might see new highs. This is what's happening right now. Of course, we're entering high resistance area. But once this, this thing's clear, we're going to see um, 212, 213 on SPY. We're trading on the high volume area on the weekly. And once we're above this area, we're going to see uh, new highs. Let me go back and finish with some uh, uh, more stories. But before I, I'll, I'll give you, and maybe we can go to some of the names that you want me to uh, look at based on these algorithms. But before we go there, um, let me give you two very important links. The first one, the first one, this link, over here is where you can have the free market map. Free market map. That tool is going to give you the opportunity to watch those valleys. That's the free market map. And the other, the red team scan, so you can start demoing, is the second link. That's the second link. Okay, the first one is um, the market map, and the second one is the red team scan. And now let's get back to the market here. And let's go to the daily chart. And I would love to answer questions and to look at some of the instruments that you'd like to trade, the instruments that. Um, all of you, this concept is pretty simple. I mean, it's, I don't have, have a lot of, I mean, my traders, and we are a prop company also in, in Colombia, my traders know that we love simple stuff. This is queues on the weekly. We see the queues on 111.44. Look at the queues. On the 60, on the 30-minute chart, an edge. Markets are either horizontal and slow. And take a look at this area. This, this is why this is powerful, powerful and. Uh, very accurate. Here we have daily, weekly, and 60-minute POCs. When the market traded above those levels, it rallied. Up the monthly NASDAQ chart. Let's look at the monthly now. We saw that on the PowerPoint presentation. So this is the monthly NASDAQ chart. We're visiting POC again. If we break above this level, we're going to visit this highs again, which is uh, 115.75. If we don't, we'll go to uh, 96.93. And if you look to the left, what do you see? A yellow line. Where's the other one? A yellow line. So is this any indication that if we correct, we're going to see this collapse to this level? No. Relax. I don't see that happening um, right now. But it's just giving you um, a view of where are those levels. If you want to short this, your target should be near 96, 93.
But if you want to go long, probably at 115.75. Let's look at the 15 minute chart. This is perfect for an uh, intraday trader. A gap, look how the market gap above old levels. I mean, it closes below all POCs, 60 weekly, daily, these three important areas. And then it gapped up above yellow line and the daily. I mean, by the five minute high. Now, what is, what is, what is it doing right now? It's just trading. This is the monthly, this is the 30, daily, weekly, 60. So the market might correct. We might see a correction tomorrow, probably. This, this level has been touched several times. And the market map is telling us that we have a potential short valley, if you look to the left. So I will not rule out shorting the market in the coming days, probably tomorrow. It'll be a hit and run, though. I will not stay swing short with this powerful uh, move. Let's look at this from the future perspective. This is the 15 minute. It's just, this is the close. We're just trading in this high volume area. It's very hard to make money trading in the high volume area. It's easier if you're going to short, which I, I think it might work in, in the next hours, probably during the Asia session. If you want to short NASDAQ, your target will be 66, 62, and 61. That'll be your target. Brazil is another market that we looked at. Oh, China. I forgot China. Everyone talks about China. And here's your scan finding opportunities in China. Let's look at the daily chart. And how you can spot opportunities with, with the scanner. Here's China daily. It's going to get there. It traded above the POC of the market map. That starts to uh, telling you to buy. You got, if you go to the 60 minute and at 120, you, you'll, you'll see where the market and the scanner changes its bias. Let's look at the 120 minute. It's now going long on China. It's long China. Sideways market, high volume area. This powerful bar, green bar, and now we're trading. Where's the target for China? Probably uh, 3403. But on the weekly, thirty-four twelve. 34.12 at the best, 36 for China. It's favoring longs right now, this scanner. So again, um, it was a very short presentation. I like to keep things short and give you tools uh, to trade. And uh, as I told you, here's, I mean, the story is pretty simple. We developed this based on feedback from two little girls. And of course, a lot of novice traders, ourselves, have learned a lot using these tools. And we have developed these algorithms uh, to help a lot of novice traders to understand where the market is going to go vertical or horizontal. That's it. That's the only thing you need. You need to find valleys. You need to find these uh, valleys with a market map which is a free tool, you can start doing this today. You have links over there by us in English. Mandeep, uh, 
if you subscribe to the market map, I'll get your e I'll, I'll have your email and then I'll start sending you links of our presentations and all of our educational material. So go to the market map, the rating free market map, get that for free and uh, that way I'll, I can start uh, I can I can take it to our CRM and be one of our subscribers and uh, you'll get access to to some of our videos. And we're producing videos on a daily basis with our partners, uh, Task Market Profile. And um, we have a show, a daily show, showing some opportunities. And I, used, I talk there. We write articles on Bloomberg, as I mentioned before. On, on Spanish, we have a whole site devoted to trading, which is called Ingresarios, ingresarios.com. Is, is in Spanish, so it's it not going to help you guys speak English. But you're going to hear a lot from us in the coming week, weeks, months. We're here to stay. We're here to innovate. We're here to to generate ideas and, and alpha and profits for our traders, for our subscribers. So I thank you uh, for being here. I'm open to questions or to see another chart or um, 15 more. S&P's, of course. So strong. This is the weekly. Hold on. Look at this chart. This is this is just beautiful. Now we have some overbought conditions in value areas together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you see it now? Okay. So we've been rallying. In this chart, we have the 20 period moving average in white, magenta for the 200, multiple levels, the daily POCs, the 120 to 40. This is the place. Again, pay, pay attention to that level at 46.60. That's the place where the market starts to rally. It was yesterday during the European session. 6 a.m. This this green bar. 6 a.m. You buy that high, stop in the low. Why? Scanner is telling you to buy. You look to your left. You don't see resistance. You're trading above the yellow line, above the POC of 120 to 40, which means that buyers are just in control of this auction. He stops for a while at 200, and then he breaks the daily like butter. And then it's rallying, rallying, rallying. No, I guess it's time to, to take some profits and wait for retracements. That's the uh, 120. The daily chart is trading. We have a green signal is long stay long go long and the weekly the weekly we love to trade levels look at the retracement the retracement went all the way to the weekly POC it found buyers there and now it's finding some resistance this level is going to be hard look to your left there's a lot of people there well probably when when buyers here the price came to this level, some buyers just break even. But I see this probably finding some sellers in this area in the coming in the coming hours or days. Yes, Walter, let's look at the five minute chart here. Same concepts. I mean, here's the op here's uh, the open this morning 
it's five minute it shoot it, it shoot a signal at 940 to go long so yes you can trade the open with these tools and or use this is how we read the market let's this is uh, um, s and p's case bars s and p's case bars every 2.5 handles or points and the multiple levels so yes you can you can watch this five minute ten minute any range that you might and or want to consider you can uh, you can use it any more questions remember we have the free market map for you guys to find the valleys for free on trade station you need to pay a single dollar every month and the scanner is 99 dollars a month but here's the catch it comes with full training videos and uh, we are trading ourselves so we like to you know um, improve the tool on a constant basis and share that with our traders because we are a proprietary trading group and we look to train traders Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Uh, Michael, I think this is it. I look forward to hear from you guys. If you want to touch base with me, please send me an email at info at reditune.com. You can uh, follow my Twitter handle, which is Reditune. Um, I'm on Facebook also like Juan Villegas Restrepo you can find me there and uh, we trade the markets on a daily basis we, we produce a lot of videos education uh, we love this business we love to trade we love to create algorithms we are designers developers and of course I'm a father of two little girls who might become traders someday based on these tools that's it that's it I love to, this, to do this uh, presentation. It's one of my one of the favorite things in my life is to share my knowledge with people who like to train to learn how to trade. Been doing this for nine years, nine years, training people, traders, coaching them real time online, and using these tools to make them profitable. So thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you. Subscribe to those tools, to the market map, which is a free tool, which is, will increase your uh, chances to make it in this very tough but very exciting uh, trading world. Thank you again. Look forward to hear from you. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Juan. Thank you everybody for joining us. We'll see you at another trade station event. Have a great evening.